how to deal with the engine on your boat. Sailing Virgins, yeah. Hi, this is James from Sailing Virgins. We're here in Virgin Gorda Yacht Harbour on the island of Virgin Gorda in the BVI. It's an absolutely beautiful place. We're having a great week. And what we've been talking about is engines. Engines can seem a little bit complicated, a little bit difficult. So what we've done is we break them down into their four component parts and talk about each one of them in terms of the fluids. By the end of this episode, you'll be hopefully a little bit better on your engine knowledge with boats. So let's go. So diesel engines kind of mystify a lot of people, uh, me included, um, and that is because you look at them and you just go, what is going on there? What this episode slash tutorial is going to do is break a diesel down into some components that can help us as skippers. There's really four fluids that we're talking about with engines. Diesel, okay? Diesel, yep. Water. Water. Oil. Oil and? Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> it's actually air, it's got to breathe. Let's start here with the water. So we've got water coming in from outside, right? We've got a hole in the boat, seacock in the boat, brings water in, goes through a strainer, goes through an impeller, and then comes on and goes through a heat exchanger. Then comes out and swaps the heat, comes out the exhaust, right? So if there's no water coming out the exhaust, and you, you know you have a big problem, because most likely the impeller at this stage is gonna be busted, it needs to change the impeller. So that's water. Let's now deal with diesel. You've got a tank of diesel here. So the engine uses diesel and what it doesn't need, throws back into the diesel tank. The diesel needs to be super clean. So it's going through a separator and a filter. And so it needs to be super clean in order to come through. It needs to be beautiful before it comes through the tiny little injector no nodules in the engine. If it's not beautifully clean then the engine's going to let you know about it. Of course in the separator you can um, undo that little knob and pull the water out of the fuel and the the filter you're going to need to change. Um, you're going to sort of ask how, when it was last changed and that sort of thing. The oil is really kind of the blood of the engine. Again your oil really needs to be quite beautifully clean ideally. The thing about oil is you've got a reservoir but really most of your oil sort of just circulates through every little cavity in the engine and that sort of thing. And so when you do your dipstick test and you look at the colour of the oil, what's good colour oil? Good colour oil is of course what it looks like when it comes out of its drum. So it's like a yellowy cleary sort of fluid. Okay. Black is of course um, meaning it's full of soot, it's a long time between services. The, looking at the colour of your oil is going to tell you a lot about the engine, when it was serviced last and that sort of thing. Too much oil and you've got a pressure issue. Oil is a Goldilocks thing. When you check the dipstick and there's the two little marks on the dipstick, it's got to be between those two marks. If it's not between those two marks, if it's too high, too much oil, you, think, you might think that might be a good thing, it's not too much pressure, engines, um, the gaskets might, something might give. You really need it in between. So we've done fuel, water, oil, now air. Air, the engine needs to breathe, okay? So there's gonna be air in, as well as the um, air that ends up coming out with the water, okay? The air in, there's gonna be a tube somewhere, most likely, going through the boat. If someone puts a bag over it or something like that, then <laughs> the, the <laughs> engine's gonna start coughing, right, and sputtering. Might even give up on you, depending on where the bag is. If you're suffocating the engine, you'll know about it. So they're really the four things. You've got water slash coolant, oil, fuel, and air. So you now know that a scary looking complicated engine is really four main things that have an issue. Electrical, we're gonna to put to one side. But as far as the fluids go, they're the four fluids. Now, I've got here some notes. If you see white smoke, you might have some water issues in your fuel. You might have an injector issue. Um, if you see black smoke, that's usually an engine that's working too hard. You might have an air filter issue. What what would be the colour of smoke for oil in the in the fuel? Do you think it's a it's a blue colour? It's not always, but it's a as a rule of thumb, it's a blue colour exactly. Grey you don't see so often actually, but grey is kind of like bad fuel, some sort of fuel issue. If you see an issue with your engine, if it's blowing out smoke, observe what colour the smoke is, and if you're on a charter boat, let them know and that'll give them the inside word as to what, what might be the issue with the engine. So there we have it, an engine broken down into its four fluids. I really hope you got something out of this and I hope to see you out here on the water. Have a great day. All right, here we are, Virgin Gorda, the bath. We left our boat over there, we took the dinghy in. We're gonna go swim in the baths first thing in the morning, try to beat all the crowds. Yeah, I see.
At Sailing Virgins, we embrace each day with an intentional morning ritual of breath work, meditation, and a quick seven minute workout. This powerful combination grounds us in the present moment, allowing us to fully connect with our stunning surroundings and appreciate the beauty of wherever we've anchored. It's our secret to staying centered amid the ever-changing seascape, setting the perfect tone for another remarkable day on the water. Thanks for watching and see you next time.